In this week's edition, the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over Kuwait in the Middle East. Situated in the northeast of the Arabian Peninsula, Kuwait shares its borders with Iraq to the north and Saudi Arabia to the south. With a total area of around 17,800 square kilometers, Kuwait is considered one of the smallest countries in the world. At its most distant points, it is around 200 kilometers north to south and 170 kilometers east to west. Kuwait is generally low-lying, with the highest point being only 300 meters above sea level. The flat, sandy Arabian desert covers the majority of Kuwait and appears as a vast expanse of light, sand-colored terrain in this image, captured in July 2019. During the dry season, between April and September, the heat in the desert can be severe, with daytime temperatures reaching 45 degrees and, on occasion, over 50 degrees. Kuwait City, visible jutting out into Kuwait Bay, holds most of the country's population, making Kuwait one of the most urbanized countries in the world. The various colors of Kuwait Bay come from a combination of wind and the amount of sunlight reflected off the waters. The Sheikh Jabbar Causeway can be seen cutting across the bay. The bridge is 36 kilometers long, making it the fourth largest bridge in the world. Al Jara lies around 50 kilometers west of Kuwait City and is visible on the west side of Kuwait Bay. It is the center of the country's principal agricultural region, producing primarily fruits and vegetables. The circular shapes to the right of Al Jara are an example of the pivot irrigation or center pivot irrigation method, where equipment rotates around the central pivot and crops are watered with sprinklers. Just south of Kuwait City lies the Bergen oil field, considered the second largest oil field in the world. It comprises three smaller fields, which can be identified as an extensive network of interlocking roads connecting the individual wellheads. Satellites such as Copernicus Sentinel-2 allow us to monitor changing places on Earth. Flying 800 kilometers above, satellites take the pulse of our planet by systematically imaging and measuring changes taking place, which is particularly important in regions that are otherwise difficult to access. <laughs> 